One thing we love about this job is the myriad of methods people employ to make a living. We've met butchers, bakers, and candlestick makers. Heck, just the other day, we even met a professional potter. I'm a mud potter. I like getting in the dirt and just, you know, pushing it and trying to come up with something unusual. Meet George Holland. George is one of the relatively few people we know who actually make money at making pottery. Probably the only reason I've been able to do it is because my wife has a degree in business and I have a degree in art. <laughs> it's one of those jobs we all wish we could have when we're young and idealistic and think the world will beat a path to our door. Well, folks do beat a path to George Holland's door. His Buffalo Gap studio is packed with people who seek out his beautiful, unique pieces. George loves that because George loves making pottery. Why do you like to do this? I think I like the immediacy of it. It's I can take just an old lump of clay and it can turn into something absolutely beautiful, you know, and it's like, it's nice at the end of the day to be able to see what you've accomplished, you know, and, and designed and came out with. And sometimes it even turns out like you think it's going to, which is good. <laughs> On the day we visited, George invited me to help make a piece of pottery using horsehair and sawdust. Now we're gonna have to reach a point here where we're ready to stop, and I think we're just about there. I think that's it. Yep. Now let's You're get, the artist, I'm gonna trust yeah, you. Yeah, I like that. Let's get a little bit of the sawdust over there again, and we're just gonna so lay cool. it kind of right on top there. I thought we did a great job, especially my part. Yeah, we'll put some stardust down on the inside, get some little specks. There we go. Ooh, so that's that's perfect. It. That's did, it. Did we do good? You did good. All right. <laughs> Make no mistake about it. George Holland is a serious artist. His raku is revered, his paintings praised, but it is one tiny piece of pottery that has brought the most fame to George Holland. It's an egg poacher. An egg poacher. Yes, and it poaches a perfect egg. <laughs> That's right, an egg poacher. While trying to figure out a quicker, easier way to make his breakfast, George Holland, otherwise serious artist, stumbled onto a piece of pottery that's more function than beauty. In less than 15 seconds, it's gonna be the perfect poached egg. <laughs> Looky there, a poached egg. So while George Holland pursued a career as a great artist, the world had something more in mind. George has now become known far and wide as that egg cooker guy. Well, you know, I'd rather be known as the egg cooker guy than not known at all. 